So, Samsung had an unpacked event on the 23rd of September, which was an event for the Galaxy S20 FE. I'm going to go into this in a bit, but before then, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment in the comment section as well. So yes, a Galaxy Unpacked event happened to release their Galaxy S20 FE. The S20 FE is an S20 series device for the fans. So the FE basically means fan edition. So Samsung made this for the fans where they think that fans of Samsung should actually have what they want to have in a smartphone but then at a cheaper price. So I'm going to go into the specs of this device with you and also maybe an overview of what to expect in case you plan on getting the S20 FE. Starting with the display and the build on this device, the display on this device is actually a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080p which means that you can stream your content you want on YouTube, Netflix or anywhere at a maximum resolution of 1080p. Samsung threw in their 120Hz refresh rate which is one thing that is very cool at that price point. Now taking a deep dive into the build, the glass on this device which is the front facing part has a Gorilla Glass three protection with a plastic frame at the back now this plastic frame is one plastic frame that I marveled to see on such a you know probably something they're trying to term as a mid flagship device because even though it's a plastic frame it still supports wireless charging and reverse wireless charging I thought that was only permissible on glass backs or devices with glass I mean infrastructure or architecture but then even though with the plastic you still have the ability to have wireless charging and reverse wireless charge in case you don't understand what reverse wireless charging is reverse wireless charging is basically the ability of that device with the probability with the property to actually charge a different device wirelessly and by just i think you should call it reverse contact charging because you definitely have to put the device on the phone before you can actually have it charging wirelessly. The device is running on Android 10 right out of the box which should have a three years worthy upgrade and Samsung's own theme the One UI 2.3. It comes with Snapdragon's chipset the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor. This Snapdragon chipset is coupled with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage with another variant being 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. Now bear in mind that this device is not coming with the edge cutout design like the S20 or the S20 Plus or even the S20 Ultra has but instead this is more like a flat display just like the Galaxy Note 10 Lite or the Galaxy S10 Lite. On this device you are able to add expandable storage of up to one terabyte yes you can add an sd card with a maximum storage capacity of one terabyte this device has a 32 megapixel front facing selfie camera which doesn't only take crisp pictures but also shoots video at a resolution of 4k at 30 frames per second at the rear side where the cameras are really impressive you have a 12 megapixel main camera center and another 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens which has 30 times digital zoom and three times optical zoom which is actually a very impressive one on that the cameras and everything haven't been tested out yet pre-orders are actually running now so you can pre-order them and you definitely get it somewhere in october 2nd or within the first week in october the battery on the s20 fe is coming at a, a battery capacity of 4500 milliamp hour and a 15 watt fast wireless charging capability where you can charge your device wirelessly with a speed of up to 15 watts my name is Dalpi and this has been it for the Galaxy S20 FE stay safe peace out